here we are in my workshop and to be honest not a lot has been happening here the last couple weeks but that is not without good reason continuing off of my introduction video from last week um, one of the things that I want to bring you in on and let you know about is what's going on as far as my business is concerned. I've mentioned it a couple times before that I own my own company. It's called Dynamic Power Concepts and it is a mechanical engineering slash industrial design consultant company and it consists of me. The goal of the company was to offer clients a series of services that let them take an idea from concept all the way to prototype testing. And that's what I've been working on for the past five years, four and a half years. And when I started the company, I set myself a series of goals that were planned out over seven years. And the first two years were just me working, working with people I had already met in the industry and working on my skills and learning as much as I can and becoming a better and better engineer. And then the second couple of years, my goal was to find my first cold call client. And I was literally just, what sounds what I called up people and I'd be like, hey, these are my services, do you have any interests? At the end of my fourth year and the beginning of the fifth year, which was January of 2019, I got my first cold call client and I actually got the job because of a YouTube video I made. And the reason this all ties together is because I want to mash my company Dynamic Power Concepts and my YouTube channel together into one entity and have them help each other out. And the, and the vision is the YouTube channel will be a great place that I can showcase my work and my abilities that I can show potential clients. And then if I get client work, then some of them might let me make YouTube videos of them so that they can kind of help feed each other and help support each other. My goal in my fifth year was to start fabricating parts that I design with that first cold call client happening in in my fourth year and realizing that YouTube can help future cold call clients, I kind of hesitated on if I wanted to really work on my fifth year goals or if I wanted to adjust them. And after my vacation with my family over the 4th of July, they motivated me and they inspired me to basically go for it and try to achieve my original fifth year goals. And one of the things that my uncle suggested is, is that I need to reach out to the Small Business Association and look into their mentor programs. And over the past couple months, I've actually been working with the Small Business Development Center here in Louisville, Kentucky, working with a mentor that's been helping me develop a business plan so that I can go out to investors and find funds to be able to achieve the fifth year goal. And the reason this all connects back to the YouTube channel and why you haven't seen a lot of projects going on is because the fifth year goal is to start fabricating parts that I design. And to be able to facilitate the fabrication side, I need a more permanent or a more conducive work environment for that. And that means getting a workshop that I'm hoping will be around 2,000 square feet um, and then getting a bunch of amazing equipment to make that happen. And that includes things like uh, the CNC mill, a CNC lathe, a regular mill, a CNC plasma cutter, a 3D scanner, a uh, metal brake, um, and then just an assortment of tools that go along with that equipment. And having that new workspace, that official place for my company, it'll allow me to be able to do two things. I'll be able to expand my company, make prototype parts for my clients so that we don't have to outsource them, and then I'll have a place to work on my projects that I'm showcasing on YouTube, and we'll have the tools that it will give me the ability to make and design and create some amazing things of my own, which will hopefully inspire you to create your own things and develop whatever your heart desires. 
and then also use them as a showcase for future clients that will help support my company, which will help support the YouTube channel and just keep the whole cycle going. So I just wanted to sit down with you all and kind of explain to you all why there haven't been a lot of projects on the channel recently. And it's basically because I'm procrastinating because I'm very close to getting into a position where I'll be in a new workshop here in a couple months. And when that happens, a couple months after that, I'll have some amazing equipment and I'm hoping some amazing things will happen on these projects that I'm working on with you all. I guess that's really all I have to share in this video. As to what's gonna happen in next week's video, I am really not sure. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But thank you for sitting down with me and listening. And with that said, I hope you go out and do something fun, do something enjoyable, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. My camera wasn't recording. There's a big light at the top of my camera and it's red when it's recording and it's been green this entire time. So let's do it again.